What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be going over the rewards for getting all 152 shrines in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Following my well rewards video, oh I saved this one for last, I didn't even realize it, the unlit blessing. This is such a great shrine, you're like why is there fire fruit here, okay I'll take it. But then like as you walk forward and you open up the chest, also there's some arrows here and you're like okay. And how you've been lulled into such a, a false sense of security. That happens and then it's like wait what? I think it's I think it's pretty neat. But yeah, I've done 151 of the 152 shrines in the entire game, and this is going to be my last one. I have an idea on what the rewards are going to be. I just haven't ever gotten it for myself because, you know, game came out and I've been playing through it three different times and it's hard for me to just commit to one. And originally I was going to not complete the shrines in this game until I completed Shrine Hunters. And that was going to be like my whole idea, like, you know, I'm going to save all the Sky Islands for for this game. Make your way to the Temple of Time. There you shall find a suitable reward for your efforts. Oh, and you get the side quest, the Shrine Explorer. And then that closes. Do they all close? Have I been skipping the cutscene that long? Oh, and then it went black. Okay, on the right, 152. It's been a while since I turned in any uh, orbs of light. Well, first I'm gonna go turn in the orbs of light. Now I do know from basic math that there's not enough orbs of light in order for you to have max hearts and stamina. I think it'd be what, like two hearts short? I mean, me personally, I'm gonna be more than two because I haven't done the lighting temple or the thing after that. But I really do like how this game doesn't require you to complete any of regional phenomena in order for you to do every single shrine in the game. As opposed to Breath of the Wild, how you had to actually complete the four divine beasts in order for at least some of the different shrines, like from the Sand Seal Racing in the Gerudo area to the Ceremonial Trident in Zora's Domain, stuff like that. And now I'm five hearts shy. And I already did the large goddess statue on the Great Plateau, so I'm good there. So by activating the quest, it told me to go over to the Temple of Time. Oh, that's right, there's a goddess statue here. And now there's a chest. The Ancient Hero's Aspect. This item is said to contain the spirit of a hero who once saved Hyrule. The hero's aura will envelop the wearer. Try and explore it complete. So it has a power of 12. Oh! I'm not gonna lie, I thought there was... I thought there was going to be like, I don't know, sort of like a like a transformation animation or something. But no, you just are white boy Link and then green man Link. So is this the Zonai Link? Like, is this like Link from the ancient past? Obviously, we have to go upgrade it now. Thanks to my travel medallion in front of a great fairy because I'm there so much. Level 1 requires Silver Bokoblin Horns, the highest level of Bokoblin, 9 Henix Guts, and 15 Zonite. Okay, well we're starting off real expensive. Is the next thing gonna be Silver Moblin Gut- Silver Moblin Horns? Oh, and the Rupees are priced accordingly. And we go from 12 to 21. Alright. Yep, we need 9 Silver Moblin Horns, 9 Frox Guts, and 10 Large Zonite. Alright. And two stars is already at 36. I mean, th the numbers are really skewed for me because, you know, it's three pieces of armor. And then it's nine silver Lizalfo horns, nine Moldulga guts, and 15 large zonite. 600 rupees all in one go. Then the final level is both of the silver Lionel horns, nine of each, and nine Gliok guts. I'm happy I did the Medals of Honor right before this. Okay. And there we go, the Ancient Heroes Aspect fully upgraded, 84 defense. And then the set bonus is Master Sword Beam Up. Oh, that's what used to be exclusive to the of the time and of the everything else sets. So now, wow, that goes very far. How far does this go? 
Like, I, I hit the side of that mountain over there. Maybe I didn't. It seemed like I did. That is very far. But all right, that's pretty neat. It has 84. Is that going to be tied with the highest defense in the game? Like the of the wild set? Yeah, 84. So same defense as a full set bonus of the highest defense, including of the wild, the soldier and the zonite armor, which I haven't fully upgraded those yet, but it just goes and takes over the whole body. Quick way to take off all three pieces. That's for sure. And when sorted by body part, it is considered a head. And by index number or set number, it's at the very, very end. So, okay, there we go. That's your reward for completing all 152 shrines in the entire game. I'm obviously going to be completing my Shrine Hunter series a little bit faster now that I have them all found and unlocked. And to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to wear this. It just seems like sort of a vanity <laughs> armor piece of, hey, I did this. I have a red tail. All right, well, great. Guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.